Today we're going to be taking a look at the Slasher and they start with the stun gun and compact SMG, perform additional melee strikes before becoming tired. The base is 5, so you have start with 7 and each melee strike has the potential to be able to damage two targets at once. So if you swing through two targets, you will hit two instead of hitting one. Your push radius for melee attacks is increased by 50%. So if you're like just missing or you're not getting the kill, you can push them back a little bit. This is actually really good with the slasher when you're going in. So if you're not getting the kill, being able to push them back a little bit and then going to the next target and then go back to them without them being right on your toes and getting closer to hitting you is actually really good. I tried this one for the longest, which is mo movement speed penalty when zombies are very close to you is reduced by 100%. But generally, once you get to the end of the game, it might be a little bit better in the beginning, but once I got to the end, I tried the push and with 10 melee strikes, I was able to Flash through all the zombies I need to to get the cloak, and at that point it really didn't matter about movement speed because I'm invisible. So you just gotta see. I mean, if you're at the beginning of the slasher, just test it out and see if you are getting slowed time and time again. If you're getting slowed multiple times in a game, even like two, I'd probably say put this on. If not, you want this. But just to go over this. Um, as this is required, the number of zombies requires to pin you down is increased from 8 to 12. Pointless, you should not be getting pinned down. If you are, you're slashing into too many zombies at once. Stop doing it. Stun gun effect duration increased by 100%. Now, this isn't bad. I used this one also for the longest, too. But it's so easy to spin around the bull and just melee him three times and slash her twice. Error. Somebody else can shoot them so what you really want is to increase the range by 50% so you can get the bulls that are going to get your teammates when you're actually coming back to go stun them versus uh, the bull coming directly at you. Also when you need to stun that large group you have a count of 20 instead of the base count of 15 so you're able to stun up to 20 in a horde so when you got that swarm coming at you, you can temporarily scroll a line of them, which is very useful to slow them down. Stun gun damage increased by 100%? Completely useless. Who cares about damage? The whole point of the stun gun is to stun, not damage. Bullet dodger. Take 90% less friendly fire from bullets while performing melee attacks. Now, this may seem ideal and it's very nice, but... You're rarely, I mean, you might be, if you're in with a very good team, maybe, but I like this one better. This is 50% less bullet damage, 50% less explosive damage, and 50% less damage from melees, which you, if you're going to continuously go in with the slasher and actually have some fun with it, take this perk right here. Melee strikes damage one more per target when health is below 25%. Yeah, it's nice. This is better. Unless you actually can just, you're never getting hit when you go in with melees. And maybe you want to go for this. I occasionally get hit, so I like that. You and all your teammates can perform m more melee strikes, plus two, before coming tired. Reads works just as it reads. Everybody now can perform seven instead of five. Trophy Hunter, deal 25% more damage to special zombies? Maybe. I mean, it's not a terrible perk. But, like, if you're like me, and you're going to be going in when you're the slasher class and having some fun with it, and you're getting, like, at least 3 to 5, 10 uh, melee kills back-to-back -back in rapid succession, then, yeah, go for the health. Take take the increased health, because you're going to be on the front lines. You'll be going to be catching bullet damage, you're occasionally kind of be catching explosive damage from people who don't know how to aim and throw grenades, or you don't know the grenades being thrown and you're already slashing into it. Take the extra health for this class. Only class I put it on, but yeah, for this class, I, I like the he extra help. Uh, SMG, I don't care for, because I drop whatever gun it is, and then I pick up an assault rifle, right, semi-automatic rifle, or shotgun. So I don't really care what my starting gun is. You really shouldn't care as a slasher anyway. 
because the starting gun is fine, just level that up to 5, get the 1 of the 2. And when you need to for the beginning until you pick up a better gun, you got the ability to do multiple melee strikes, so let them shoot and go in when there's a bunch of them grouped up that you can take out in a row. Killing 10 zombies in rapid succession with a melee weapon grants temporary health boost. Now this is interesting. This gives you like, um, I want to say it was 70 ish percent um, temporary boost when you kill 10 zombies in rapid succession, which is good. And I would highly recommend taking this if you're not playing with a medic. But if you're playing with a medic that knows what they're doing, then you want cloak and dagger. This allows you to kill 10 enemies in rapid succession with a melee weapon and then become invisible. Once you become invisible, it's a good solid 5 seconds that you get the masking effect, which allows you to easily take out a couple more zombies with melees and fall back, reload your weapon, or you can just go in if you needed, pick somebody up and reload, and while you're doing all that, you are increasing your ability to go in and strike again. So, this, uh, I feel this is the one, unless you're not playing with the medic. Killing 10 zombies with melee attacks in rapid succession instantly reloads your primary weapon. Um, you always have the ability to slash. Uh, so you could just fall back a little bit and then you can slash again. Your teammates should have one person with you in most occasions, so definitely not as good as Cloak and Dagger. You will not become fatigued when melee attacking zombies electrifies by the stun gun. Um, really don't really need to shoot when melee, you shouldn't really be stunning multiple groups and going in and slashing them. Stun gun is really just to uh, take the crowd off you, and if that's the case, you're going to be slashing like a handful. You're not going to be slashing to the point where you're getting fatigued, so pointless. Might as well get the assault shotgun with 25% extra damage and 25% extra ammo, and then look for that, because you're going on the front lines anyway, so when it gets really hairy, you can pull that out and take out a bull or two, or take out a good portion of a swarm. Battle cry, automatically stand up from being pinned after 5 seconds. Now if you're playing on easy and normal and you want to do the battle cry and root it and just go straight in on swarms, it could be fun. Uh, other than that, you would be taking these two. So, this is uh, perform one melee strike more before becoming tired. Melee damage increased by 50%. Now we want this. Perform one melee strike before becoming tired. Melee damage increased by 50%. So these two combined doubles your melee. Very easy to slice through crowds. That's what you want if you're going to be having fun with this class. Killing 15 zombies in rapid succession allows you to hit one more target for melee for 10 seconds. Uh, at the end, you're already hitting three targets or swing the ability to two targets per swing you will almost rarely ever have the chance to be swinging at four targets per second unless you're running this combo and playing on easy and normal in that case probably would want to go with that one and actually the health and just go straight in on them that could be fun uh, killing special zombies with a melee weapon will increase firearm damage by 50% for 10 seconds. It's still not as good as one more melee strike. I mean, it's really not bad, but you don't really too... You're going to be shooting more of the hazmat suits probably than you're meleeing them. I mean, you, I melee a bunch of them and then I'll just back off. You don't really melee the lurker. And you don't really melee the screamers. So, my opinion, much better. Max capacity for stun, gran for stun gun charges increased to 4. It is nice. But the ability to get more back. Now, you're going to go with one of these two. Now, I am almost always the number one killer of special zombies in all my game. So, when I average 10 to 20 plus... Uh, depending on the map, special zombie kills. Uh, yeah, that's uh, better for me than getting the 15 kills in rapid succession. If you're on the low end of the special killers for any reason, then you'd probably want to take the 15 because when you're in the fighting the swarms, 
15 is easy to do. Using the stun gun restores 1% of our primary ammunition for every target you stun. Pointless if you're having fun with the class, you're going to be slashing almost as much as you're firing. SMG reload speed is increased to 25%. Unless for some reason you are plan to use the SMG and go with the, this right here and then the advanced SMG, then pointless. What you really want, I mean, it's not pointless. You can start off with a slightly reload speed in the beginning, but all the beginning of the maps. You can probably melee your way through them for the most part, even on very hard, just shoot a melee. So, reload speed increased by 50% when health is below 25%. So when you do go in, or for any reason, you do underestimate or you get overwhelmed by a new threat that comes in on you, the reload speed is actually a very nice bonus. So now you have the ability to reload the assault shotgun rifle or whatever very fast 50 percent reload speed is like cutting it down on the assault rifle max like under two seconds if not just flat two seconds so i like this one because when you're in a bind it can help you out 25 percent start in the start eh, and that you're not really stunning crowds too often i mean if you are you're getting a little bit back of ammo but I don't know. I haven't found one person ever that said that they find these reload uh, ammo perks to be their choice. It just is as bad as it sounds. Uh, melee strikes damage one more target. Definitely want that. I mean, obviously, you don't have a choice, but yes, now you can strike three different enemies at once. And that is the slasher.